Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to populate a roof like this one with just one tile. As you can see, here we have this house and yeah, all the tiles. So let's 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 get started. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hide uh, the original one, and um, I prepare here one of our tiles. So the whole thing is gonna happen with just this tile. So the first thing uh, I want to do it's uh, as you can see this uh, roof has um, it's not like a perfect uh, straight uh, line. It has kind of like a curve. So the first thing I want to do is extract a curve from the from the roof. So I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna grab um, one of those uh, uh, line of edges here. For example, this one. I'm gonna do Shift D to duplicate. Enter to confirm, and then P to separate the selection. Now, um, I'm going to move it outside of this uh, collection. Um, rename it Curve Roof. And then I'm going to enter edit mode. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, what I want to do now is to straight it on the Y axis. So I'm going to do S, Y, zero. So now we have it in, in a straight line. In, but still, it follows the same uh, angle that the, the roof has. Okay. Uh, another thing I like to do, uh, because we are going to convert that, this is geometry still, but we are going to convert it in a curve. I like to do two things. Uh, the first one is to change the origin to the, the first uh, vertex there. So um, I'm going to put um, on edit mode, shift S, uh, cursor to selected, then um, set origin to 3D cursor. OK, so now our curve has the origin in the first vertex. The second thing I like to do um it's to simplify the curve because i don't really like to have so many vertices so what i do is i go to uh, well first of all we need to convert it to a curve so object um, convert curve then in edit mode i'm gonna change the curve to uh, bezier because when we change it to bezier it allows you it, it allows us to do the uh, destiny so as you can see now, we have even more points and uh, handles. So I go to Curve, then Clean Up, Decimate. And usually uh, here, the ratio is uh, 0.5, but maybe we can even go a little bit uh, lower. And you can play with this number to see how many uh, vertex you want, to, you want to, to keep. This works for me. So the second thing I want to do, well, the next thing to do is um, to move the tile to the same position than the curve. So I, I select my tile, I select the curve, and then here uh, I click, right click on the mouse, and then I select copy all to select it. So that's going to move our tile to the curve. Okay, so here it's where kind of that. Uh, the magic happens. Uh, I'm going to add an array. And what the first array, it's going to be uh, the vertical line. So for the vertical line, uh, what I want to do is uh, uh, add a one here on the Z axis. And we can start uh, adding until we can cover the, the height of the roof. Another thing I want to do is it's, I want to add a little uh, offset, but instead of uh, because I want the tiles to overlap a little bit, so instead of uh, yeah probably 0.9, um, it's gonna be good 
I'm going to show you very in a moment why we are doing this. So I think that kind of it's enough to cover the vertical height. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna add the curve modifier. We select our curve, and then something weird happened. That's probably because um, this curve, even if we set the origin here, probably the direction of the curve starts in that vertex. So we can select, we can uh, press A, select all the vertices, and then in segments, switch direction. Now it's gonna start in this vertex here, but it's still not following the curve. And that, this is because we need to change the, uh, the form axis. In this case, it's gonna be Z. And then again, now it's following the curve, but it's not um, horizontal. No? It's like we have, uh, we should rotate the, the, the tile. So what I like to do is go to the curve, then select all the vertices again. And in the mean tilt, I'm gonna do 90. And then now we have the right orientation for the tiles. But uh, here, uh, as you can see, the tiles are like one after another one, and this is not very natural looking. That's not how they build roofs. They always have like a, an offset in the angle. So they look a little bit like they are overlapping. So I'm going to select my tile. And as you can see here, um, it it doesn't follow, it doesn't follow our curve. So it's hard to see what, what's, what are we gonna be doing? So what I like to do, it's, um, I like to enable this so I can see how the modifiers are affecting my geometry. Now I'm gonna press R, Y, and then I'm gonna play a little bit. So you, you can see here how the offset works now. And I like to round out this to minus seven. So here now we have all our row of um, tiles. The next thing we can do is move a little bit. So we have it here. Then we can move it a little bit up. So now it's covering and then move it a little bit in. So now we are ready for the second array. We are gonna add another, let me just select the tiles, not the curve, and not add another array. And now the axis that we want is the Y axis to cover the whole roof. So here I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do zero and in Y, I'm going to do 1.05 because I want to leave a little, a little space, as you can see here. And then we can add more. So I'm going to select my tile and the gear because what I want to do is I want to move a little bit on the Y axis. So I press G, Y, and I move just a little bit. Okay, so now the next thing it's as you can see, our roof is not perfectly like a square or rectangle. And I want to be able to move those uh, tiles a little bit. So I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that using a lattice. So I'm going to press Shift A, I add a lattice, it's here. And then I'm going to try to match the, the same size than uh, my tiles. So I'm just here pressing G and S to move it and scale it until it's uh, roughly the same uh, size. Then here, as you can see, uh, I want to do 
I want to have something similar to this beam on, in terms of, of uh, width or thickness. So I'm going to scale the, uh, the x axis and then I'm going to rotate it to follow uh, roughly the angle or the orientation of the roof. Now I move it closer. And I think that's probably good enough. Then the next thing it's, uh, I want to add a little bit more resolution to this lattice because um, I just want to deform the top part. So I think probably uh, adding a subdivision here uh, would be good. So I come here to the lattice properties and I'm gonna add a subdivision here. So as you can see, now we have a subdivision here uh, so the next thing is to add the lattice modifier. Lattice uh, modifier. I select my lattice. And then now we can um, deform that lattice. So I'm going to go uh, to X-ray to see much better the points of the lattice that I want to select. Then uh, I'm going to move them. I'm going to do some here, G, Y, same, I'll do it to just G, Y, go to the normal mode, and here we have uh, our tiles. The next thing is because, as you can see, our roof only has, we only did one part, so we I would like to do the other side. So this is very easy. I select uh, my tiles and then I add a mirror modifier. And then as you can see, it's not working very good because what we want to do is to mirror respect the house. So I can uh, use uh, an object as reference. I select with a dropper and then here we have it. So in like, as you can see, like in I don't know, what was that, like five minutes or so, um, you, we easily like uh, populated uh, a roof with just one tile. I hope that was helpful and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.